Hi guys, welcome to Fresher Scam. So we are back with another topic of aptitude today, which is clock. Before moving on to the topic, let me tell you about our channel. We provide regular updates on government jobs, technical, non-technical, and all other type of job opportunities, as well as preparation material for campus placements and government jobs. Do not forget to subscribe the channel for regular updates. Please like the video and leave your queries in the comment section below. So we will solve the homework problem first, which was given in calendar part two. So this was the problem which was given in calendar part two. The question is the calendar for year 2007 will be same for the year 14, 16, 17, or 18. So what you will do, you will just write all the years between 2007 and 18. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And similarly, you will write the odd days in each year. See, if you are not getting the concept of odd days, so I have a basic trick for solving these type of questions. So what happens is, if on first January two thousand seven it is Monday, so in two thousand eight it will be Tuesday. Accordingly, in two thousand nine, it should be Wednesday. But here is the trick. What happens is two thousand eight is a leap year, so that is why it will have two odd days. So instead of Wednesday on first January two thousand nine, it will be Thursday. Now here Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday. So in two thousand thirteen, there should be Monday, but Again, two thousand twelve is a leap year, and here are two odd days. So here will be Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday will come, and then there will be Monday. So because two thousand sixteen is also a leap year, it will also have two odd days. So the year which will be having the same calendar as of 2007 will be 2018. So this is your answer, option D. Now let's move on to the clock. So today we will in this lecture we'll go with the basics and in next lecture we'll solve some questions. So basically, what is a minute space? The face or dial of a watch is a circle whose circumference is divided into 60 equal parts called minute spaces. So you all have seen watch, right? The face or dial of the watch is always a circle, and its circumference is divided into 60 equal parts, each consists of 60 seconds. So here it is simply you can understand this. Uh, one hour equals to 60 minutes. Uh, that is said here that the circumference of that circle is divided into 60 equal parts. So that is called minute spaces. R and and minute hand. So a clock has two hands. Smaller one is called R hand or short hand, while the larger one is called minute hand or long hand. So what is a uh, R and a minute hand here? To the uh, you know when you see a clock. So that moving pin, which is moving like in a circular motion, and there are two pins like that. One is short, and other one is larger. So the short one is called hour hand, and the larger one is called minute hand. Moving on, in 60 minutes, the minute hand gains 55 minutes on the hour on the hour hand. In every hour, both the hands coincide. So we know that both hands coincide well because you see uh, when that pin or the hand hands come at six and twelve and sometimes at six or sometimes at twelve they obviously strike. The hands are in same straight line when they are coincident or opposite to each other. When the two hands are at right and angles, they are fifteen minutes spaces apart. Yeah, you can also see that they form a 90 degree angle, either when one pin is at 12 and other is at 15. So, you know, they are 15 minutes space apart. When the hands in opposite directions, they are 
30 minutes apart so when one pin is at 12 and the other is at 6 so that is 30 minutes space apart angle traced by a r and in 12 eo 12 hours is 360 degree and angle traced by minute hand in 60 minute is equals to 360 degree because what happens is when the pins move circularly so when a very complete 12 hours that is also like 360 degree a total circle and even after the completion of 60 minutes that is 360 degree if a watch or a clock indicates 8.15 when the correct time is 8 it is said to be 15 minutes too fast you all have seen this example in your homes when your watch is like somewhat forward so you know that it is 15 minutes forward so you go on with that similarly if other hand indicates 145 when the correct time is 8 then it is said to be slow like when you need to go to school or somewhere and the time is 745 so you know that it is 15 minutes slow and your bus will be at 8 so you go on probably with that these are the basics of clock and only with the help of these basics you will be able to solve the questions so i'll recommend you to watch this video very carefully and note it down these are very important basics you will need in solving questions in any aptitude exams this is all for this lecture we'll meet in another lecture and we'll solve some of the questions of clock do not forget to subscribe the channel for regular updates. Please like the video and leave your queries in the comment section below. Thank you.